OpenAI has silently launched a new model. It's called GPT 3.5 Turbo Instruct. And in this video, we're going to learn about this model. Starting with this is a model that is going to replace a lot of deprecated models. Last time when OpenAI made an announcement about GPT-4, it also indicated that it is going to deprecate a lot of old models. For example, it's going to replace text DaVinci 001, 002, 003, text DaVinci, uh, entire text DaVinci series, the text Ada series, the text Babbage series. So this model technically is going to replace all these models and then that is going to be GPT 3.5 Turbo Instruct. With the naming, you could have already guessed what is this model and OpenAI in fact clarified this saying that what is this model. So according to OpenAI, this model is an instruction 3.5 class model. It is trained similar to the previous instruct models such as text DaVinci series while maintaining the same speed as turbo models. While I have not personally tested this model, I could already give you a picture about how these models are doing and especially, you know, people are quite ecstatic about how this model is. For example, this is a demo from uh, Yohi, who is the creator of Baby AGI. So if you see how fast the GPT 3.5 Turbo Instruct model is, it's quite fast. As you can see, it is super, super fast and people are fascinated to see how fast this model is. Now, what is the difference between this model and all the other models that OpenAI has got, especially with GPT 3.5 Turbo? The biggest difference is at this point is GPT 3.5 Turbo is the, the normal one is a chat model. So which means the model has been trained for dialogues. The model is not trained for instructions. So while chat and instruction might look very similar for you, these two actually have different purposes. Whenever you don't build a dialogue agent or a dialogue system or a conversational agent, you don't necessarily need a chat model. You can be really good with an instruct model. And that is exactly why a lot of people, tons of people are excited about GPT 3.5 Turbo Instruct. So this is an instruct model or instruct GPT based model that will do in that will take your instructions and give you answers based on that. The greatest part about all this is the pricing. So what we ha they have done, OpenAI has done is, they're saying we are committed to make the cutting edge technology accessible. So we have priced GPT 3.5 Turbo Instruct in line with other Turbo 3.5 models with 4K context. So that means GPT 3.5 Turbo is going to be one of the cheapest models, a GPT 3.5 Turbo Instruct is one of the cheapest models when you compare it, especially with GPT-4. And it is going to be one of the best models for a lot of use cases where you don't need the best flair of GPT-4. So if you're building a production level application, I would definitely start with GPT 3.5 Turbo Instruct. And, and the most important aspect is there are already a lot of people trying to run benchmarks and then try to claim that maybe this model is actually better than the model that it is replacing or probably GPT-4 level. But I would caution you some caution you some warning because all these benchmarks are uh, very subjective. It's not an objective benchmark. I'll give you the reason why. For example, Madhav Singhal from Repelit has managed to run this internal evaluation. And this post is kind of viral at this point, like it has got 62,000 views, 68,000 views. It says that GPT 3.5 Turbo Instruct is performing on par with GPT-4. But if you see the metrics that are used here, it's precision, recall, F1 score. And you know very well that these are not the classical benchmarks that we are using in large language models. And that is where whenever you see the benchmark have a kind of skepticism here, because this could be possibly, you know, something like a text classification or some other NLP or classical ML task here, not necessarily something about question and answering. Even if it is about question and answering, we don't know how this uh, experiment or the test has been set up. So anyways, the model is not bad. The model is doing good. 
when you go see more details a lot of people came out and then said that they could not see whether this model is performing as close as gpt4 and this is andre mulier who is the creator of gpt4 all but the good thing for me at least like for me who likes cheaper models is that this model while it does not do better than the existing gpt4 model which i don't think that it should do or it would do but the good thing here is that the speed so gpt 3.5 turbo instruct is a lot faster like almost like five times faster and uh, when you see the speed as one of the most important factors for example gpt 3.5 turbo has got a speed of 22.72 seconds sorry 22.72 tokens per second while gpt 3.5 turbo instruct has got 94 tokens per second while maintaining the same accuracy this is a huge thing imagine you are building a production level application minimizing latency is one thing that a lot of people try to do and having a model that is quite faster but not also compromising on accuracy is something that everybody wishes and the fact that now you have got instruction fine tuning even for these models might means that you can do a lot more or you can gain a lot more from these models. And also a lot of people are now discussing about how better this model does when you compare it with the chat model because people expect the chat model might have been RLHF. This model might not have been but this is all you know over the top rumors at this point we don't have concrete data to prove that in a nutshell. If you want to just take away one thing from this video, we have a new brand new model from OpenAI that is GPT 3.5 Turbo Instruct. And this new model is an instruction model or instruction GPT family model. It's not a chat model. It's not supposed to be used for conversations. It's supposed to be used for question and answering. It's supposed to be better at taking instructions and doing certain things. And OpenAI is planning to or is actually indeed replacing this model with a lot of other models and starting from January for 2024, the older completion models will not be available. So in 2023, like today, if you are building a new OpenAI based production level system, this is the first model that you should be looking at unless until you're building a chat system in which case you should use GPT 3.5 turbo which is a chat or dialogue based model. I hope this video was helpful to you in learning about the new model that OpenAI has made a silent launch about. If you have any question let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in another video. Happy prompting.